Irvine guy coming back at you on day 101 of the C-Note saga. Got it right behind here. And if we look out at the lake quick, give you the weather update, what's coming up. You can see some snow on top of the lake. Well, it did some raining yesterday. And then we got some snow in the morning, and most of it's gone now. But there's still complications for moving the boat. I was kind of supposed to be decent tomorrow and then maybe a little snowy rainy for a couple of days and decent this weekend so i talked to paul he's hoping to work on it tomorrow he said there's not a lot to do but it can be dangerous up on the boat especially if there's little snow out i completely agree that fiberglass can be quite slick up there so he's not going to get out here unless he thinks it's safe to work on the boat tomorrow and then uh, he'll definitely keep uh, keep us all informed when the boat's moving so we can film it so the other news today was Fox 9 was calling, talking to Paul. I, they may or may not have been out here do, doing a follow-up on the boat and their story before where, where they had me on. And today, I guess they were reviewing the order. But they, you know, like a competent news organization updating their uh, people is to a previous story and what's coming next. So anyways, re reflecting on yesterday's order, talked about it a little bit. Turbine guy... I want to pontificate for a second here and say that to me it's disappointing how hard the judge worked to protect the county when you read the verbiage. My wife and I just went through a criminal prosecution for a failure to obtain a permit to replace a driveway. Of course, I'm not guilty. She was dismissed. We were just in federal court over that, and it was a lot of fun watching three federal appeals court judges tear apart the Orna lawyer. But in that case, after I was found not guilty, the judge in that case chose to go on about how it was a difficult technical matter and everybody acted in good faith. Well, when you criminally charge a disabled lady who had nothing to do with it, and you admit on the stand that, that you did with no evidence, there is no good faith, but yet you have a judge tasked with holding municipalities and things accountable, choosing instead to speak up for them when that issue is not before him and we have no chance to defend against his statements. And that, that's kind of what I felt the judge did. In this, in this case, I, I think Judge Moore, although he did the right thing, let's move the boat, let common sense shine, why do you guys spend all that time protecting, this, protecting the county when you know doggone well that the lawsuit was bogus? Of course they're likely to win to move the boat, but that's not what temporary injunctions are for. They're to stop things to maintain the status quo. Well, moving a boat's not maintaining a status quo. And the judge knew that, and the lawyers knew that, yet they still played this game. And the sad part of all of this is the lawsuit's still on. Just because we have an order to move the boat doesn't mean the lawsuit is going away anytime soon. You know, the county's had a chance to pull this lawsuit the whole time, and they don't want to. They want to, for some reason, keep going down the road of using our money, my money, your money, in some sort of frivolous prosecution of people who, who, who took a boat out of the lake, albeit, you know, odd, strange circumstances. But not everything's the same in life. Not everything's perfect. So, a little odd to the turbine guy that uh, we do have the order and we've got the judge protecting the county when we know doggone well that the county's out of line. I mean, a few people arguing against that, but we know doggone well they are. Anyways, we got some more snow falling now. Paul, as I said, isn't sure he's going to work tomorrow, but if he's working, he said there's not a lot to do, but Turbine Guy wants to be here so you can watch him getting the boat ready to move. Anyways, that's today's update. Turbine Guy, signing off.